If you look into the syllabus, as I told you, there are four parts. So there are basically three parts which you need to answer. But you can make a selection out of architecture and planning. So let me go part by part. Part one, which is a common part for everything, that is general aptitude. General aptitude will be having a in the official syllabus. So I have official syllabus published by the gate on the gate portal. You can check that uh, official syllabus as well. For general aptitude, there are four parts verbal ability quantitative ability analytical reasoning and spatial reasoning verbal ability is basic english simple there are two to three questions generally on simple english quant where basically simple math based questions are asked one to two questions or three questions on that then one or two questions from these two topics as well analytical reasoning and spatial reasoning analytical reasoning and spatial reasoning were recently added into the gate pattern probably in the year 2021 itself so just two or three years ago it was added so ensure don't don't just uh, learn or uh, don't just practice verbal and quant questions from the past gate papers you should also have a special emphasis on practicing the reasoning part which was introduced in 2021 so be aware of that minor change in the general aptitude part the reason i'm saying you should uh, practice all these four parts is because the 15 marks of weightage from general aptitude that is very crucial in getting a very good rank good rankers have always or in most cases there are very few exceptions most cases have scored a general aptitude score of 12 plus 12 marks plus so you should ensure that you will score 12 plus in the general aptitude there are many students who have done wonderful in the architecture and planning part but have lost the or, or uh, they did not get a very good rank just because they did not do well in the general aptitude that has happened to past students as well and uh, historically good rankers have always have a general aptitude of good marks so target for 12 plus marks in this general aptitude part that is something which you should always remember now the only way to go about general aptitude is focusing on practice it's very crucial even if you attend the classes even in our coaching classes we do conduct classes for all the uh, quant and reasoning part as well so uh, even after classes we recommend students to focus on practice that is very crucial so right away before your preparation set a target that on daily basis you should at least spend half an hour of time to, during the course of your preparation minimum at least 15 to 15 minutes to 30 minutes at least on general aptitude because it requires continual practice these are not topics which you will learn in a single day and score well to get the target of 12 plus you should have a continuous practice of this part so that's about the first portion coming to the second part that is common part as i told you common part is very crucial because it has the maximum weightage in the gate paper uh, it has a weightage of 60 marks if you look at the official syllabus there are seven sections mentioned in the common part that is architecture architecture design which includes basics of architecture and standards related to architecture construction management and estimation construction management where you have critical path method port and estimation concepts that is the second section third section is environmental planning where you have the topic of environmental impact assessment or ecosystems environmental pollution sustainability these are the topics covered under environmental planning the third topic sustainability has always been an important topic not only in gate in all the competitive examinations it has it is becoming a topic of importance so even in gate paper there have been questions always on sustainability and related to it. sustainable development goals if you look into past two papers there have been questions on sustainable development goals so that's also written in the syllabus so all these are covered in the third section section four you have landscape and urban design uh, where uh, you have landscape architecture and also the concepts and theories related to urban design fourth uh, section number five is planning you have the basics of planning the planning theories and very important uh, important planning uh, say the principles of planning and also the uh, guidelines for planning that's the uh, section five section six is housing where you have uh, the housing real estate valuation and also numerical part is important in housing so housing part where you have uh, uh, the estimation of housing units dwelling units the standards for housing and all these are covered in the housing section number six finally you have section number seven in the common part that is services which includes varied topics ranging from water supply solid waste management sewage treatment or hvac or say hvac actually is in the services of architecture part but the remaining water supply sewage treatment or say solid waste management these are the topics even basics of transportation all these are included in the services and infrastructure services part of the section seven in the common part so that's an overall idea on the syllabus of the common part it includes both the topics of basics of architecture and planning combined so it is for everyone architect gate architecture can be written by architecture br graduates and also b plan graduates so for ease of b plan graduates this introduction was done in 2021 uh, in 2022 division into architecture b1 and b2 so let us now go to part so i told you about part a
there are seven sections and i briefly discussed the subjects which are covered in this let me tell you add on one point for the common part if you observe the past two papers that is gate 2023 and also gate 2022 numerical questions are concentrated on few topics so if you analyze the syllabus all these are also important to strategize your preparation so if you analyze the syllabus of the common part there are few very few topics or few subjects which are numerically strong or numerically important example services housing construction management and estimation construction management and estimation is very crucial and very important from numerical point of view uh, approximately 50% of the numericals of the common part have been from construction management for the past two years construction management and estimation included so i think there were around uh, four numericals in gate 2022 from construction management and estimation around three numericals in this year's paper so uh, a good number of questions are of numerical uh, of numerical questions are concentrated on the subject of construction management particularly construction management and estimation so it's a topic of importance from numerical point of view which are important and uh, which is a scoring area in the paper so an analyze the question paper recent trends and pre prepare a strategy no subjects important from numerical point of view how to prepare a subject right all these are important to create a boundary for your preparation so uh, that was an overall idea of the common part now moving on to part b that is architecture part and planning part so part b1 that is architecture part has three sections b1.1 b1.2 and b1.3 that is history of architecture and contemporary architecture structures and building construction building materials that is b1.2 b1.3 services which includes various topics like uh, lighting acoustics uh, so it is building services which you basically climatology all these are included in the part section b1.3 uh, uh, some part of climatology like climate responsive design and all they are included in the common part under environmental planning so uh, if it's subject of climatology if you take some part is in the common part some portion of it falls under the architecture part so the boundaries are not very rigid in many subjects uh, moving on to part b2 there are three sections again given in the official syllabus that is regional planning which includes the basics of planning again planning theories again ptm planning technique management which includes survey gis and all these topics uh, transportation which includes the advanced topics of transport advanced part of transportation so you see there are many subjects which fall under common part and also part b like for example transportation is mentioned in services also in the common part transportation is also included in the part b2 so, so the basic topics of transportation can be asked in the common part advanced topics of transportation transportation has become a topic of importance in the planning part b2 so uh, advanced topics of transportation are covered in this particular portion so that is about uh, trans not only transportation even if you look into topics like water supply the term water supply if you look into the official syllabus it is written twice once in the common part it is written in the services part once in the architecture part it is written in the, the services so same word same subject is mentioned in multiple uh say parts also common part and also architecture part so it is very important to analyze and understand which subject falls under which portion or uh you need not uh We'll come to the strategy of selection of the part and preparation regarding that towards the end. But let me tell you that the there are topics which fall under common party and also part B. So that's about the syllabus uh, of the examination which you need to be aware of. So download the official syllabus at we at KP Gate classes to simplify this confusion because some subjects fall under part A and part B. So it creates a confusion to students. We recommend students to have a holistic approach because there are uh, there are questions, there are deviations also for your information. For example, in GATE 2022, there was a two marks question on air conditioning. Air conditioning is mentioned in the architecture part, but there was a two marks question on air conditioning asked in the common part. Not only that, there are uh, there are reverse deviations also, like estimation, and uh, there was a question on valuation part, which valuation actually comes under the common part in housing. That question, two marks was asked in the uh, B2, part B2. So there are deviations always. I'm not saying... 50% of the question paper will not follow the syllabus structure but yeah there is a 5% deviation in the question paper always there can be questions of uh, part b asked in the common part questions of common part asked in part b that has always happened even a contemporary architecture even though contemporary architecture is mentioned in the architecture part there has been a two marks question of contemporary architecture for the past two years in gate 2023 and also gate 2022 there was a question on contemporary architecture asked in the common part itself 
right so there are always deviations because of this we recommend students to have a holistic approach overall uh, you, you it is advisable that you cover everything uh, as much as possible that's number one and also number two because uh, there are subjects which fall under both the portions it we to have a clarity we at kp gate classes follow a 24 subject structure we have divided the overall syllabus into 24 individual subjects and we cover the topic subject by subject obviously you can have a selection like for example if you are if you are determined that you are preparing only for the planning part that is part b2 you can probably leave out or not emphasize a lot on some subjects like structures you can have understand the basics of it but not do a lot of hard work on that area